Thank you, everybody. Um, it was a very productive day, questions and answers. Um, this is my message. Um, during the past several weeks, difficult time has brought us together now more than ever. Non-stop prayers have been sent to all in grief of the loss of a beloved one and or the ones in medical distress. In the meantime, please let me use this platform to request everybody to be considerate of patient confidentiality and refrain posting any hospital bed images of our beloved unpassive leader, Chris Johnson, without his permission. Mm -hmm. Please continue on with your prayers and spiritual support to all in need. Together, we stay strong. Bless your hearts. Thank you. Thanks so much, Minu. That was very important. Really appreciate it. Thank you. My Thank you. All right. Antelene, are you in the mood to motivate people this evening, my evening? For some reason, your name keeps coming up, so go for it. You open that <laughs> session for us, please. I think it's, I always think that we have a choice in how we view our situation, our personal situation or any other situation, you know, it's always a choice. And so we can make a choice to be thinking in a positive vein or a negative one. The choice is ours, right? So if you decide to fret and worry and be anxious, and we do see that, you know, when we see social media posts, there is some anxiety among some of the affiliates in the company. Realize that that's a choice you make, you know, and if you want to worry, it doesn't really get you anywhere. It's what I'm saying. I'm trying to tell people, you can worry, you can be anxious. Where does it get you? It just gets you more anxious. It raises your cortisol levels, it raises your adrenaline, and it is affecting your health, your physical and mental health. So why not go the other way? Choose to be positive, choose to have a positive outlook because it's gonna be good for you. It's good for your mental health and your physical health. And I'll reassure you that things are going to be okay. You know, we're at the point, as I said, where things are going to be happening very rapidly. There's going to be a lot of good things and great announcements being made. So why don't we just enjoy that? You know, enjoy this period. And excitement is part of it too. If we knew exactly what was going to happen, this would be a very boring journey, wouldn't it? But it's because we don't know what's going to be happen happening second to second that makes us motivated it inspires us to keep up with what's going on and to chat with one another and that is a positive thing for everyone so i hope that everyone here on this webinar as well as people who aren't here maybe you share this message with them let's choose to have a positive outlook that's the best way to look at life in general thank you thanks so much Antelin. thank you can i add my voice on that okay go for it bro yeah, um, I just want to like, um, hi everybody again. I just want to say this. Um, in fact, we are in a moment, I want to add to what um, Sister Lynn just um, just said. I want to add my voice on it. You know, we are now in that moment that each and every one of us, we own a business. We own a business. Yes, we are excited. Please take this moment and understand, try to associate yourself with people that you will learn about your business. We all learn every day. When I call Collins, I call Bob, I call Vincent, I call Mr. Comfort, I call people. I learn. Because this is your business. It's a subscription-based business. It's based on sales. You make your commission. Know your business. The business is MSI, multi, multiple source of income. Each product that comes, that you buy and put in your organization, that is another source of income. How do I get there? Those are the questions you are supposed to be asking. Marketplace. Marketplace, what next? How much? You make your commission. Please, these are the questions we are supposed to be asking ourselves. Mr. Ash has given us, we are, we are in a gold mine now. Now, like this, we are in a gold mine. If you people know what, or you understand what one application out there costs, 
and then you know the type of application that we that we have in our that we have now we are supposed to be dancing every day we are supposed to be jubilating every day because the money is there in in software there is money in and we have the software as a service we have a data center i i follow collins um, um maddie and my ellis they were talking about data center they talk about software as a service this is just one part that is one part of the data center of part of SaaS, SaaS solution that is 271 billion we do have platform as a service also and we do have infrastructure as a service these are all in the data center so please know your business take this moment don't be negative if any negative body comes beside you kick that person or you jump and you pass and you associate yourself now where you know you make that you will learn your business thank you very much Thank you, thank you, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was trying to unmute. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I think we, we, we are as good as done. And uh, who, who's going to round up? Collins, do you want to contribute anything at all? Yes, let me just <laughs> talk about this. We should just, you know, continue to know our business because, you know, I always say this in most of the webinars. I said, when someone bring you in, you know, the first thing you see on passive through the eyes of the person. But after that, you have to move on. And I always quote Peter Rogers, for example, brought Maddie the Gamo in. Maddie always say, you know, but Peter is here. Nobody knows that Peter Rogers was the one who brought Maddie. How many people can even see Peter Rogers and uh, Maddie the Gamo went on and built on Passive Nation? It means at that time, Maddie the Gamo took it and said, you know what, Peter, though you have shown me, but now I can see it through my own eyes and what Mr. Ashmafara is trying to do. And he went on and brought a lot of people. So without Madi Digamo, there wouldn't have been any unpassive nation. And without Peter bringing Madi in, there wouldn't have been any unpassive nation. What I'm trying to say here is we need to start to stand on our own, know that we have a business. Don't expect me, say we have a traditional shop. I always call it online shop, traditional shop. You come to me, don't expect me to shut down my shop because I want to help you. There is no way I will shut my shop down. If I have a traditional shop and my store is open, customers are coming. You are there struggling. Say, please, can you come and help me? Do you think I'll tell the customer, wait, let me lock my door, shut my door, because I want to go to Lean, I want to go to Oliver to help. I will tell you, there's nobody there to come to my shop to help me. Take it that way, please. Mr. Adbufara built a level playing field, as my brother Oliver said, Lean have said. Let us understand the business we are in. Let us stop being... I always said, we don't want to be a follower of webinars. Like we go to webinars, but we are there. We are just like a sleeping followers. We are there when you come out. What mm -hmm. did I say? There was nothing that you gathered. They said a rolling stone, gather no most. There are people who go online and search for information on Facebook. I know posts who copy it and send it to me. And you know what I see that I block you straight away. I don't even waste my time to reply. I block, block, block. I say, you are not the type of person I want to talk to. Your information must come from the back office, from OES. You must understand what is in the OES. I want someone who will come and tell me, Mr. Ash, before I say A, B, C, I don't understand. Please, can you explain it to me? I was there, but I didn't understand what he said about this payment processor. I'm happy. But don't come and tell me, can you give me an update? I was working. I worked more than all of us were working. Even my job is more difficult. But I'm still there. I'm still there following everything. 24 7 to make sure i don't miss anything because i know i own a shop and i want to run my shop as you know to the best way like oliver said let us please please we just begging know your business because this is the time when they will open that race people will change their telephone number when you call somebody don't hold that person hostage because honestly i always say this i don't owe anybody to give you my information that's the truth. I don't owe any responsibility. I will never be guilty to say, no, I'm not talking to you because you refuse to understand. So please let us do it. That's what I will say. And if this is the time. Let us be really, really faithful and follow on passive with all, everything, because Mr. Adra can always waste the time to, to do that. So that's what I wanted to say. Thank you. It's, it's time to say it as it is now. I think I'm just happy. Thank you. So um, 
let's get two people to close this meeting for us. One is going to be who has been quiet. Sister Fumi, you're going to be one, and then John Barilla will round up for us, and that's when we shut down. Oh. Uh, maybe she needs to, to. Can you hear me at all, sis? It's delaying. All right. Uh, I think John seems to be uh, more ready. Thank you, Captain. I'm always ready. <laughs> really. Uh, I don't have much to say other than, uh, 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 you know, it was very good today. And a lot of the things folks just said, uh, uh, all good stuff. I think we should all be uh, uh, happy uh, right now. And, and I know many of us have, have felt some uh, anxiety or uh, I don't want to say doubt, but uh, because we're right on the cusp of something happening uh, and it makes you a little anxious. Uh, you know, wondering, well, what, what exact time, what's happening? What do I see? Do I have anything coming? What is it? You know, and I just say, uh, we got to relax because it's happening now in the next coming days, it's happening. Uh, so I would just say we are fine. Hashtag Oliver Fonte. So thank you very much. Thank you, John. Thank you. Cesar, are you ready now? Did you call me before? Oh, <laughs> so why did you unmute? Yourself? There's a hand up. Okay, let's give. Is All right, that's that's uh, uh, Sister Julie. So, Sister Fumi, did you want to say a word, or should I pass it on to see All right, she's freezing in the first place. So, Sister hey, Julie, you can speak. Oh. Go ahead. Thank you, Sister Comfort. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Um, great webinar, great learning platform, and um. I think the lesson that I would like to pass on is how we manage our expectations. And this is very, very important. If you may allow me, expectations are what we think will happen, while reality is what actually happens. While we hope these two will match up, they often don't. This disparity of expectations versus reality can often lead to feelings of discontentment and unhappiness, stress, worry, pain, mental anxiety, and leads to ill health. Let us all learn to tailor our expectations. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much, sis. That, that was just very befitting for a closing remark. We really appreciate it. And of course, thank you guys. Let's go out there with expectations and excitements because the world is our oyster. Thank you guys. See you same time next Sunday or see you soon because Auntie Lynn is going live, a few people and maybe, I don't know, it's 24 hours round the clock. So let's just see ourselves wherever we meet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.